this was probably the best decision I made. Okay. Since the quarantine happened, there are a couple of things that were the best decision. I'm debating whether I'm going to shave, cut it off more. Is that crazy of me to think that this is already long? Tell them in the comments below. Uh, I feel like, as you can tell, like, I'm, this is, my ear is, I'm so energized. <laughs> Maybe it's because I, it's, three o'clock and I just started eating and before this I was talking two hours on the phone with my friend and I had a coffee so maybe that's why I'm so energized but I'm like I need to chill down but there are many things I want to say I'm gonna get to this in a second but my hair so this is maybe one and a half week of growth ah! and I'm so happy with my bald head um, ah, I just love it I just love <laughs> love being me um, it's dark in here. Hey. But anyway, so this is already long, guys. This is, you see how it's like getting, I can, it's so strange. It's such a strange thing to go through. Shaving your head and then feeling it grow. So now I'm at the point where if I do this, I can feel the direction of my hair growth. And I can actually feel resistance. Whereas like a week ago, I couldn't. A week ago, it was just like one thing. Like this, you know. And now I feel resistance. And also yesterday, I was in the bath. And my hair was wet. And I did this. And droplets fell in front of me. Because it was like... Okay, anyway. Um, yeah. It's still okay. Like, I kind of like... Having more hair on my head more than being like really bald because that felt really vulnerable. I like this. Like I kind of wish it would just stay like this forever. But um, it's also annoying me already. <laughs> like I don't know if you can see but this is getting like fuzzy and you see this? I don't like that. And I also don't like that now... Things are getting a little bit uneven because it's getting... Okay, anyway. I was talking about... I wanted to talk about this, which has been my lifesaver. <laughs> Savior? Saver? So yeah, this quarantine, I've been having many meltdowns. But also lately, I've been feeling really chill. Because it just feels like vacation now, which is kind of my favorite moment in, of the, the year. So I'm feeling happy. <laughs> um, yeah, so two things that are keeping me sane that I want to share. I actually didn't plan on making this video. I just started recording and I might not post it. But... The first thing is Wim Hof method. I've been doing it consistently for over two weeks. I haven't been counting. Why is my door open? Is there a ghost? So yeah, my laptop is getting really hot right now. That's not good. Okay, anyway. So, I'm really hyper, so don't mind that, please. Or mind, but whatever. Um, 
three things that are like three things that are keeping me sane. <laughs> Oh, guys, I am the most ENFP person in the world. Um, also, will regret everything I said in a minute. So, three things that are keeping me sane. First one is Wim Hof method. I've been taking cold showers every morning for really long time. I have lost track of time in this quarantine. I barely know what day it is or what date it is. 27th, but I didn't know that before. Um, so yeah, I've been, I've been um, doing the Wim Hof method consistently, doing cold showers every morning, which is making me feel really good. Um, and doing the breathing, not every day, because I feel still a little bit of resistance to the breathing but I do it definitely like three or four times a week and so that's been keeping that's that's like the only thing that I'm sure that I'm gonna do that day so like I don't make any plans almost hardly but the only plan I make is to take a cold shower <laughs> and to do the breathing exercises every morning. So that's been the most amazing thing ever. I highly recommend anyone watching to check out Wim Hof Method. It's accessible, it's easy, it's fast working, it has a real big effect on you immediately. So check it out and I'm really proud of myself for doing that. Second thing that's keeping me sane is watching vlogs every morning or afternoon um, by Colleen okay this is kind of like random thing but it just makes me really happy Colleen is like my alter ego friend woman <laughs> in America um, so yeah I watch her vlogs every day another thing that's keeping okay I'm just extending the list another thing that's keeping me sane is making breakfast every day but like not really breakfast just brunch and like eating it forever you know just taking forever to eat it in the sun like I don't know it's just the most amazing thing and then this is actually the reason why I wanted to make this video I am embroidering every day it's the most amazing thing and so it's part of this social experiment. Look at this. Um, I'm kind of not happy about what I did here, but anyway, so it's this social experiment. I don't know the name anymore, studio something. I'll link it down below. I don't think you can sign up anymore, but it's like this uh, social embroidery experience experiment where there are where they sent this to their to your house with the equipment equipment with the needle and the thread and we just have to make we just have to embroider this can you see two faces and uh, send it back and then they there they will make a huge art piece and I love this so much. I love this so much. It's what I've been doing, what I kind of want to do the whole day. Yeah. So that's what I've been doing. If anyone is wondering, no one is. Um, that's what I've been doing this quarantine. Okay. So there's that. And now I will continue eating my breakfast, brunch, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And then I will stare at the ceiling a little bit more. Love it. I love it. Love it. Love it for me. Um, yeah, probably we'll have a meltdown tomorrow again. But for now, it's all good. Hope everyone is feeling the vacation vibes because it's crazy okay maybe i'm over romanticizing this but that's beside the point <laughs>